Hi there. On the screen you've got Audacity. And there's a handy thing in there. You'll see there the microphone, the Yeti. So if you click the record button, it would normally go into record anyway straight away. Now I've pressed the mute button. You saw it stop when I stopped talking. So I've set it up, which if you don't know about it, and I didn't, and I've been using it for years, you can actually have it just voice activated. I like to do some of my shots of products over a table, but it's 10 meter away. And I still like to record on here. Yeah. I'm talking onto the microphones on the Canon HF G10 at the minute, but I like to record on here. And it's not easy when you're 10 meter away. <laughs> so 10 meter USB to mini USB B, and there's your answer. I can set it with my voice. Now I'll switch the mute off. And away we go again. Only records when I'm speaking and you can set the sensitivity. Mute it again. Back to the beginning and play. So it's stop and then replay. It would normally go into record straight away and away we go again. Only records when I'm speaking and you can set the sensitivity. Now that's rather clever, isn't it? So, uh, anyway, it's edit, preferences, recording, and then down here you've got overdub, software, you've got the different latency and a little tick box there, sound activated recording, and you can set it to whatever you want. And then just click OK. I've set mine midway and I have no trouble with it because I do syncing. I clap my hands twice and that sets it going anyway. So I'm going to do another one just to show you. You have to hit the record button or R on your keyboard. So it's opened a new one as you can see. Now I'm in mute and I'm going to demute. <laughs> now we're back on the Yeti. Only when I talk it records. If I keep prattling on like Mary had a little lamb and the doctor fainted, it goes on recording. Only when I speak. <laughs> and then you just hit the mute button, says he. That's it, working. Don't worry about the, the red because you can equalize that in here. Don't worry about the effects. You switch it off there. We'll delete that one and this one where the highlights are in red where I've peaked. Yeah, we go to control A. That highlights it all by the way, you can do it through the menus. And then effects, amplify and go to a negative figure. I go about negative 10 dB. Go OK. And can you see the reading? It's all neat and tidy again. So let's see. This is off here, the recording of the Yeti. It's not this. I shall 
delete, not delete that, but mute it. So here you go. Now we're back on the Yeti. Only when I talk it records. If I keep prattling on like Mary had a little lamb and the doctor fainted, it goes on recording. Only when I speak. <laughs> and then you just hit the mute button, says he. So you can see how you can do it at a distance. You speak, it runs. You don't speak, it doesn't record. It's, it's pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed this little sort of guide on Audacity. Oh, I was going to say, I've just received this book from a friend. It's called The Professional Results with Canon Vixia Camcorders. Covers the Canon G10 and the XA10 by a gentleman called Warren Bass. And it is fascinating. It really is. The amount of tips and hints I've picked up are unreal. And 298 pages and I've sort of got to page 29 now. I've got to page 70... 106. Because I keep picking my camera up and having a play. But if you want a really interesting book to read on your videos, have a look. It's not cheap. 16 to 25 quid. But it's still worth a look. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked it, tick the boxes. Follow me. Well, don't follow me. You'll get in trouble. But you know what I mean. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. Ah! <laughs>